We will continue with our case study in this presentation. We have just finished the production planning activities and we have updated the standard price in our all our materials. Next, let's look at our cost object controlling activities. So first, we will need to bring in some stock to the system. So you can use a PO and do a MIGO that is a goods receipt and you can bring in some stock to the system. Stock means I'm mean meaning the raw materials and your packaging materials, the goods you need to produce your finished product. Then we'll look at creating a production order. Then we'll issue these stocks to the production order. Then after that, we'll enter the actual quantity used for our activity types. Now there is a shortcut to bring in the goods to the system without creating the purchase order. These are all very much logistics related transactions. You go to MyGo where you do the goods receipt. So I'm just going to type in MyGo and then choose a movement type 501. So here it's by default it's showing as 101. Choose 501. So 501 will not, you can see 101 is for purchase orders and you have the 501 option. There you go, receipt without purchase order. Let's just use that option. Press enter to continue. And you have to go back and come in again just to refresh that screen. So what I'm just going to go back to my go again. That is now it's 501 coming. And here I'm just going to use the purchase order other. Okay. Now in this screen, I can directly specify the material, the quantity and where I should be stored. So this is a quick way of without creating the purchase order, especially if you want to do your for testing purposes, you want to put in some test data. It's going to put again to 501. That's all changed now. So then this transaction is very useful by using this movement type 501. So now I'm going to bring in my stock. I'm just going to put in my material ID for my raw materials over here. Copy and paste that. Yeah. And quantity, I'm going to put a lot, lot of quantity in. So then I can keep using. Probably just put 100 for now. So I can use these materials a lot. And where I just had to put my plant information, that P02, storage location MSL1. Press enter in your keyboard to continue. And you're getting these two fields over here, your partner field and your account assignment field. You can specify this vendor and all those information, but I'm just going to skip that part. Go to account assignment. I'm going to choose one of my GL account, which is for stock uh, consumption or another stock take account. So I'm just going to specify that over here. Press enter to continue. I can even specify a vendor ID also if I want. And then just check the transactions. And after you post, you will get a material document, document number saying that the entry has been posted. So this will result in a financial entry. And then you can go to the transaction code MB5B. Again, this is a logistics related transaction code MB5B. Press enter to continue. Specify the material which you just brought into stock and just check in the system. And you can see you've got 100 quantity for this particular material, which is your blue plastic sheet. So like this, perform for all your raw materials and packaging materials. You can use the transaction code MIGO, MIGO with MUMA type 501 and you can bring in all the stock to the system. Once you have completed the stock intake for all your raw materials and your packaging materials, you can check the values of it in the system. Use transaction code MB5L. MB5L, that's the transaction code. Again, this is a logistics transaction code, MB5L. Press enter to execute. Then list down all your materials. For example, you can do it by the search by your company code or by valuation area, valuation class and so on. I'm just going to copy these materials because I might have different other materials in the system. I'm just going to paste that materials. This is relevant to my kite making and put my company code over here and press execute. Just press OK to go. And here you can see by GL account it's showing which materials, material currency, stock account currency. Now it's very important in terms of financial accounting and the materials management accounting that these values are correct. That these values should be matching each other and there should not be any variance. What this means is that this is taken from the material ledger that the amount from $734 is based on the standard price of that material multiplied by the quantity and it's coming to 734. This is against my raw materials GL account. And in this my raw materials inventory of raw materials GL account that I have as per the GL account balance is 734. So when it says stock account this is actually your GL account and when it says material currency this is from your materials master, your standard price multiplied by the quantity. So this should always match. 
So you can see this is a GL account for raw materials and this is a GL account for packaging materials. So I can just select one of these and go to this button over here.